In this A-level IB biology video, we're looking at an introduction into defense against infectious disease. So really in today's video, we're going to be looking at how we prevent pathogen entry and then the first line of defense, which is phagocytes. Let's start by defining a pathogen. A pathogen is a microorganism which causes disease. Examples could include bacteria, protists, viruses, and fungi. So how do we prevent pathogen entry in the first place? First of all, the tough skin acts as a barrier. Also relating to the skin is sebaceous glands which secrete lactic acids and fatty acids. These will clearly make the surface of the skin acidic, so it has a low pH, and many pathogens can't survive because of that low pH. Our next line of defense is mucous membranes, and these are found in a large number of places, including the trachea, which is the windpipe, nose, vagina, and urethra. Now, the mucous membranes, as the name suggests, secrete mucus, which contains lysozyme, which can kill bacteria. If we zoom in on the trachea also, remember that the trachea contains specialized cells known as ciliated epithelium. It also contains things called goblet cells. And what happens is the goblet cells secrete mucus. And so here's the mucus, which then traps the pathogens. And then remember, the cilia waft backwards and forwards in order to remove that mucus laden with bacteria and they take it up to the mouth where it's swallowed and destroyed by the hydrochloric acid in the stomach. So let's write that more fully here. So the cilia waft bacteria laden mucus up to the mouth. It's swallowed and then hydrochloric acid in the stomach kills pathogens. But what happens if despite all our best efforts, the pathogen still enters the body? Then it's the phagocytes that come into play. Now these ingest or engulf pathogens through the process of endocytosis. So let's show that happening. Here's a phagocyte. Here's the pathogen. And what you begin to see happen is the phagocyte gradually begins to enclose the pathogen. And then the pathogen gets destroyed within the phagocyte by enzymes secreted by lysosomes. Notice that this is a non-specific response. It's effectively the first line of defense. The phagocytes aren't specific to a particular pathogen. We need to start looking now at lymphocytes in order to understand how specific immune response works, and that's what we'll cover in the next video.